are here in the music studio of the Esquire House at Soho Muse, downtown New York. And I'm here with Martins, Salspurens, and Skipper Wise, the founders of Blue Microphones, who are very kind to sit down and talk with us about this mic. Now, the 200 is really a unique mic, and I give Martin a lot of credit for this. This is a circuit that actually Martin came up with, and you'll talk a little bit about it technically, that was put in our ball microphone. The Snowball, I, just a quick little story about this. When we came up with the sonic signature of the mic and what it was supposed to do, the hardest thing that we had with the ball series is like what was going to look like, because that circuit was in a in an ice cream cone looking mic for a while as we were listening to it. And I went to go play softball on a Monday night with a good friend of mine who's a recording engineer who threw me the, his, the softball and he said, you gotta make a mic out of one of these things. So I took the softball in the next day and, and measured it and sure enough we have a four inch round Dudley softball <laughs> is the shape of our ball series microphones. Anyway, the Encore 200 follows in the way of the 100 except we get this luxurious finish which is absolutely wonderful. This is a burnished bronze or a copper. Notice that the logo is the first black logo that we actually have in set in a blue microphone. They've usually been blue or gold or silver. Um, of course, the microphone has a little LED right there. And that does something. That lets you know that the phantom power is on because this is a phantom powered circuit. Does it require a full 48 volts phantom powering? Yes, it does. Uh, though it will operate if your mixer is putting out a little less, it's just fine all the way down to 40. Um, the wonderful thing about this microphone is this wonderful circuit that we have in here, and Martin can tell you a little bit about it, but I'll start off by saying that, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you take a long cable, and you take a dynamic, dynamic microphone, and you actually move the cable, it acts like a transformer, and it actually can change the tone of it. So how do you make sure you're gonna have consistency in a 300-foot run? Let's say you're on the stage, and your mixer's all the way down to the other end of the stage. Martin developed this wonderful circuit. Technically, the dynamic uh, microphone is having a coil and that makes uh, relatively very hard um, for the microphone preamplifier. Usually, microphone preamplifiers are designed for uh, resistive load. And uh, what it means when we have a coil that's plus resistance, there is also inductance. And that means that using various um, mixers, the sound will change. So we developed a circuitry which is pure resistive and it acts like a condenser microphone. Yeah. But this is Thank taking, yeah, this is taking the years of what we've yes, been doing yes. um, in the condenser world and bringing it into the live situation. And this is, you know, it comes from a truthful place. This is how we are as a company. We actually have something to offer. Um, offering something that's already out there is redundant. It's also, to me, not a very soulful way of creating things. We are an artistic company first and foremost, and we have to be able to connect with people on an emotional level. It's part of their lifestyle. The marketing aspects, how aesthetically we create the mics, and making sure we have incredible customer service, which Blue is known for, is an important part of the company. But you have to start with an idea. You have to start with an individual space and have something to offer, and that's what we believe we are coming from. Um, that's what we've always tried to do. It's fun to put something into the world, to create something, and actually know that when we're left this planet, um, that we've left something behind that is being used in a positive way. The bag on the Encore 200 is wonderful. It follows like the 100. Wonder I love this punchy green. This is all these Pantones that Ken came up, as I said, from the early 70s. I sort of remember these colors growing up. In fact, the Encore 300, which is gonna be released in um, January, which is our handheld condenser, which will be at 199 has this wonderful popping blue color as well. But the bags are also, this is not just an afterthought. Uh, I've seen other companies have plastic bags, kind of leatherette type bags, but it's important to me to store your valuable mic in a, in a situation where you know the grill's being polished and cleaned so that when you, you're ready for your performance, maybe you have a last minute thing, you gotta pull this thing out, you know that microphone's gonna look good the minute you pull it out, and it's gonna be an extension of who you are with your performance. So now these microphones are already installed in a couple of uh, uh, pretty prestigious venues like the Highline Ballroom, uh, the Viper Room too, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Um, and what kind of feedback have you gotten back from performers and also what kind of feedback have you gotten from engineers at those venues? Well, the key thing is that the, the response has been overwhelming. Um, our first run of microphones have sold out so quick we were really a little bit taken by it. Um, this is a new area for us. There's a lot of uh, other companies that have been there for a while um, doing the same thing. 
and I think that the difference of who we are is making a difference in um, with our customers and with the engineers and the people that are using the mics, and that's why there's been such a positive uh, out, out uh, reach for these kind of products from us. A lot of the engineers who are also familiar with our high-end stuff is like, wow, I can get actually a blue microphone into a live situation and I can afford it. The most important part about a live microphone too is, you know, they're durable, they gotta sound good, but they also should be serviceable. How serviceable would the Encore series be? Well, here, let's take a quick look at the microphone here. If by some chance you actually have a steamroller, because you know a truck's not gonna ruin this with that steel reinforced <laughs> ring, and you decided that I just wanna run a steamroller one day and run over a microphone, and you've ruined your grill, Pretty simple, isn't it? it? Looks like the grill comes right off and you can put it back on. In fact, here's something really fun I'll show you. This is what the Viper Room, the Troubadour, um, a lot of these venues are doing. This ring, which actually has um, the name of the, uh, the microphone and the Aria Dynamic capsule on it, we're doing custom rings right now for some of these venues where they can write the Viper Room on there all of a sudden clunk. It's a Viper Room mic. Engineer's doing his thing and, you know, let's say the artist comes in with he or her's own um, encore mic they'll know it's theirs because their name's right there. There is a program being set up here in the near future where people will be able to do custom rings. So you could have um, the GearWire microphone. You know, it's fun. It's, it's almost like if you think like what Apple's done with, with the iPhone and with the iPods, they have the customization of being able to do engraving and stuff. Um, in fact, if you think about a cell phone, you put it up to your ears, it's actually touching, you know, part of your body. So there's a... Um, Kind of a personal thing to it. It's an intimacy with it. Yeah, that's, that's the word. It is an intimacy. And a microphone, I mean, you're putting right up to your lips. It should be something that is yours. And we're finding more and more now that artists uh, are going out and bringing their own microphones into live situations because it's their microphone. It's something that's intimate with them. It's something they feel comfortable about. Uh, and being able to put blue at a price point that's affordable is really a wonderful place for us because we're able to reach more artists and, and musicians alike and engineers and it also spreads the gospel of what we do here with great sound.